Good morning. I know a lot of our kids are gone. They're helping sing in the choir uh, at Ceres Church, and some of them are down in Fresno for the Bible Bowl today. But let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted something? Have you ever wanted something? What's something that you have wanted, Guillermo? I want it. A tea club because I want every time I cry, mine keep breaking. Oh, so you wanted one that wouldn't break? Yeah. Well, who else? Who else has wanted something? Who else has wanted something? I know Emmeline has a lot of things that she has wanted growing up. When you were a boy, Harold, what did you want? A bicycle. A bicycle. What kind? Well, I actually had just an old one that my father had. Uh, gotten from a relative that was already 50 years old, but I wanted something better than that later on. You wanted your own bicycle that wasn't 50 years old. <laughs> oh, for sure. So when I was growing up, there were some things... Okay. When I was growing up, there were some things that I wanted to be able to do. I wanted to be able to play the banjo there were three things that I wanted. I wanted to play the banjo, I wanted to be able to tap dance, and I wanted to be able to yodel. Do you know what yodeling is? Not so much. I'm not going to demonstrate right now. Uh, because I did learn to yodel, and I did buy a banjo, but I didn't practice the banjo a lot. So I'm not really good on the banjo, and I never learned how to tap dance. I learned in life, there are some things that we want, like maybe we want an ice cream cone, or we want a new toy, um, or like Emmeline, she wants to crawl around and climb up and get into things. There are things that we want, and then there are things that we need. What are some things that we actually need, need, like we have to have? Can you think of anything that you need in life? What are some things that we do we need to? Uh, what am I doing right now? I'm breathing, right? We need to be able to breathe air. Do we need to drink water? Yeah, water's essential. What about uh, when we get hungry? What do we need? We need food. No, not ice cream. I heard you, Frank. <laughs> we might want ice cream, but we don't need it. And that's something that I've learned. And Emmeline's helping me to learn that. There are, there's a difference between what you want and what you need. Now, sometimes you want what you need, but not all the time is what you want what you actually need. So Frank, I'll pick on Frank for a moment. He said ice cream. Can you live without eating ice cream? Someone's saying, yeah, some of you are saying no. We might feel like we can live without eating ice cream, but really, if you don't have ice cream, you won't die. You're going to live and you'll, you're going to be just okay without ice cream. But if you don't have food, you have to have food. We all need to have love and friendship. We need to have uh, shelter and warm clothing. These are things that we need. What else do we need? I want a tornado. Right, we need shelter so that if there's a tornado or something, we aren't hurt. Or an earthquake. We need buildings that are built strong. Uh, that's exactly right, Guillermo. We need all of these things. What I realized is sometimes we don't know what we need. <laughs> We think we want something. Like, for example, sometimes Emmeline wants to play with the power cords or play with the power outlet in the wall. And we don't let her do that because that's dangerous, right? You could get electrocuted. Exactly. So sometimes there are things that she wants and she really wants them. She thinks she needs them. But we, as her parents, know she doesn't need that. Her biggest need is to be safe and healthy. And as I was thinking about that, I realized that sometimes we, as adults and as kids, um, we don't necessarily know what we need. 
But who knows, who knows what we need for us in our life? You could die from a tornado. Who knows, Dylan, what we need? God. God. He's the very best one who knows what we need. And just like we as loving parents try to provide for her needs, and we also try to help her with her wants, God wants to make sure that we have all the things we need. And often he gives us the things we want too, but even more important than that, he helps give us the things that we need. So when we love Jesus and we trust in him, He'll give us what we need when we need it. In today's sermon, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, But let's just pause for a moment and have a prayer and thank God that he gives us what we need. Would someone like to pray for us? Would you be willing, Dylan? All right, why don't you pray for us? Dear Jesus, thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for giving us the Sabbath day. Thank you for keeping all of us safe when we sleep and during the day. Thank you for giving us all that, all the things that we have and all the things that we need. And thank you for the, your love and care. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thanks, boys and girls. You can go back to your seats.